All right, so here it is. We've got software update 2020.12.5. So we're gonna go ahead and install it now and see how it goes. Software update installed. And we've got a new dash cam viewer. That'll be really exciting to check out. Uh, before we had the Sentry cam and the dash cam on my SSD that I have in here, but you have to take it out, connect to your computer, download the videos to view them there. Uh, so it'll be much easier to just view it right in the car, right after you get a Sentry mode event uh, indication. Most of the time it's just like me walking up to the car, but <clears throat> if it's something else, it'd be great to be able to see that immediately when you get in the car, say if you're at the grocery store and somebody had like run a shopping cart into your car or driven into your car or something like that, you can immediately review that and potentially find who it was that did it right then. It also has an indication of out of order supercharger stalls um that would be nice i'm surprised it didn't, wasn't available before um it seemed like it had it seemed like it had uh some indication of if there was any problems with the supercharger styles but i guess now it's going to have a little bit better indication of not only which stalls are being used but also which ones might be out of order so that would definitely be helpful uh, hopefully they can keep that to a minimum anyway and of course they always have the minor improvements and bug fixes indication so we'll see if anything is updated as far as autopilot goes and that sort of thing it should be a, a nice update uh, still waiting for the uh, stopping at stop signs and traffic lights so hopefully that update will be coming within the next uh, couple weeks few weeks maybe it's always hard to say especially uh, these days it's hard to say what kind of delay there may be to the release of any software improvements but they did get this one out so that's a good sign all right so we'll try out the new dash cam viewer first of all if you save it it'll just like normal tell you it's saving uh, but it also tells you that <clears throat> while the car is in drive you cannot view it so put it in park you get two new two new icons here so this one for the sentry and then this one for the dash cam. Let's so launch the footage. So here's the most recent one that I just recorded pulling out of the garage. You can go to the left camera, the right camera, front, which it defaults to, and the rear. So you have all those cameras available to you. You can go up here, scroll through previous dash cam and sentry events. So you have all of these, you have, you can view each one and then if you don't need it anymore, you can delete it. So that footage is gone. So you can select Sentry mode event, scrub through it, look at the different repeaters. If you don't need it, you can always delete it. That is the dash cam viewer, which is a great update. Now you can just watch it right on your car. And if something happens, you know, while you're out, you get a Sentry mode event, you can just review it right then and there if you uh, had any concern about what might have happened to your car and then you can report it immediately rather than going home connecting to your computer downloading it reviewing it there right, so there is a new sentry mode display 
Still tells you it's recording. As it did before, Sentry activated, but it actually uses a different uh, visual there. Overall, another good update, uh, this time with some good features to the dash cam viewer. Um, also, I did notice that uh, autopilot visualizations do seem to be a little bit more confident maybe, and also like stop signs, for example, it now indicates the letters on the stop sign, so it says stop. Um, so that's just a, a minor visual update, but it is good to see that clarity on the signs rather than just the shape and color. Um, also, I have another video coming out soon where I'm going through as many intersections as I can to try to find a situation where it doesn't actually detect that uh, stop sign or stop light accurately. Um, if that's the case, then obviously we would have concern about how reliable it would be, but so far I haven't found any that it did not display correctly. So overall, this uh, update was a, a good one and I'm excited to see the next one coming out, uh, hopefully not too distant future where we'll get the uh, traffic light and stop sign uh, stopping, auto stopping. So that will be interesting to test and see the progress in full self-driving. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.